All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the PC. Today, we are going to be talking about two of the new dinosaurs added, or two of the new creatures, I guess, because uh, this one's more of a boar than a dino. I always, I always get crap for saying dinos. I'm sorry, it's Ark, I think, dinos. Shenanigans aside, welcome back, everybody. And I think you guys are really going to like this episode, because these two are very interesting and actually very useful dinos although they're pretty small like this one we got the little looking like a baby stego with the a very horny baby stego and a just tanky tanky boar these two i'm gonna go ahead talk about the kentro first then we'll get to the dianon and talk about that but the kentrosaurus is gonna be found you're gonna be able to find it let's hop on the map here right around I'm gonna you know I'm gonna take off my ghillie suit gloves these things are kind of distracting <laughs> there we go so you're gonna be able to find the Kentrosaurus right around the Redwood Mountain how do I isn't there mm. right around the Redwood Mountain there near like 50 longitude 60 latitude around there it can be found you can find it all around the West Coast you can find it on the Northeast shores kind of like uh, near Carnivore Island uh, you can find it south and west of the mountain, kind of at 60 longitude, 30 to 40 latitude. You can find it south and west of there, so kind of like around there. And that's going to be where you'll be able to find it. It's special. It is special. It picks people up. It can pierce armor and apply a devastating bleed effect when it comes to taming. Compy kibble and berries are going to be your best bet. So here we got one that we can demonstrate this with. We're going to go ahead and get him to follow me here, buddy. Go, come, on, come on, follow me, follow me. Now let's find something for me to show just how deadly this thing is. And like I said, this thing can do pretty solid damage even against armor. Because of the bleeding effect and the fact that... Okay, you got to follow me a little bit better than that. Hello, Dodo. Have fun. Look, he hits it. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, no, he's dead. We can't we can't pick up something that's dead right away. <laughs> ah, crap. All right, so I think a wild one might be the best way of demonstrating this. As you can see, it is not looking to be a passive tame. You are going to have to knock this thing out, but it shouldn't be too hard because I'm going to piss it off real quick, right? And it doesn't look like it's going to be the fastest in the world. It is pretty fast, but I mean, if you got good movement speed, you can outrun it. But this is the part where I do want to demonstrate the special ability it has. This is just a level one here, but it can hit us. Boom! Takes us back there. It breaks our bones. It's carrying us around, and it can even apply this deadly bleed effect. Yeah, look at that. That deadly bleeding effect. 10% of our health is drained, and we're just stuck on the guy's tail as he runs around. Now, imagine if there were a couple Kentrosauruses doing this all at once, and imagine that he can do this multiple times, too. He can keep hitting me. Boom! Shaka! Oh, Jesus. Everything broke. <laughs> You can just keep on doing that, ow, and it's gonna hurt a lot, it really is. But, as soon as we do get out of this, which should be in a little bit here, and we're gonna be showing you how to best knock him out, really it's just gonna be like any dino, you just get him stuck right around this type of position, and uh, you'll be able to shoot down on him, make it rain hell, nothing too ridiculous really. Alright, but here we have it, this is level 1, I'm gonna show you how much it takes to knock him out, it really shouldn't be too much. But when you are attempting to knock him out, you just gotta be very careful. Gotta make sure you stay on the run. You do not want to get caught in the grip of this guy. Like, because of the fact that his damage, the bleed, it doesn't matter what level this guy is. It's gonna take away 10% of your health. So even to, like, super high-level players, really strong armor, all that jazz, you still have to be scared of this thing because it can do a pretty, pretty penny. And there you have it. Couple track arrows later, this guy's knocked out. And when it comes to taming, you're gonna want to use Compy Kibble or just go ahead and toss some berries on the fella. Nothing too ridiculous. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab a couple Meho berries, Mejo berries, or even Amar berries. Doesn't matter. Just whatever we can get. Plop it on there. And then after eventually a while of waiting, you can see his food goes down pretty quickly, which is actually pretty nice. His Torpor, eh, not as quick, but there you can see he just for his Mejo berry. And it's gonna take you a while to tame this guy if you're not using kibble. This is a level one. I don't think the taming speed on the server is too ridiculous, but still, it is gonna. It is nice though because his uh, everything goes down so fast. But yeah, there you have. It. And then once tamed, his abilities are pretty much gonna be the same. He can pick people up. He can apply bleed, all that stuff. He's not gonna be able to pick up everybody. All right, but he should still be able to at least attack them and they are actually pretty good meat harvesters from what I recall yeah and you can't really ride them either when it comes to their stats though you can see this is a level 1 650 health 300 stamina 150 oxygen 6k food melee damage all that stuff pretty standard good amount of health for a level 1 actually that's actually really nice 
Their health goes up about 5%, something like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Kentra. Uh, when you tame it, it's going to be similar to what you can do. And that's why it's going to be really good for protecting your base and also to bring along with uh, raids that you might be doing. Anyone's raids, because that thing, whatever it hits, that bleeding, 10%. If it can apply bleed to you, that's going to be deadly. Doesn't matter how strong you are. Percentages don't give a crap how strong you are. Now, the Deodon, also, this guy is going to be amazing. I think you're going to like him. Or Deodon. I keep saying day, but it's D. D-O-Don. I actually looked at the pronunciation for once in my life. So, you're mainly going to find these guys in the wild. Duh. But you're going to you're gonna mainly find them in packs. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you might find a straggler. From what I've been reading, apparently, if they're a straggler and you engage it, they might try to run away, but if they're in the pack, oh, they're going to get feisty. One of them, what happens is they have, like, the the pack will activate, like, this pheromone that pretty much makes all dinos near it, a.k.a. the passive healing ability. All wild dinos will, uh, they'll heal faster because that's this guy's special ability. It has special healing, so it makes him so awesome. So, yeah, if you do anger a pack, and by anger, I mean if you exist near a pack because the packs are not friendly things. They will run ravage this arc and they will pretty much just eat anything in sight because those things these guys are pretty tanky too this is a level one deodon 900 health on this guy if we up his health which will take a sec because we're on a server so so give it a sec there but as soon as that does decide to up you can see it goes up a good amount about 50 nothing too ridiculous but oh god he's starving isn't he yeah, he is. So another thing that you do have to keep in mind is that his passive healing kind of uses up a lot, a lot, a lot of food. So make sure you come in here with plenty of meat for these guys. But let's just go ahead and talk a little bit more about the info. So you're going to be able to find them literally all across the West Coast as well. You're going to be able to find them in pretty much all across the snow biome. You're going to be able to find it near that uh, 30 to 40 latitude uh, 60 longitude you're going to be able to find it kind of around there for the most part i think like pretty much all around it and actually on it and then also on the around 30 to 40 longitude 70 to 80 latitude that little like island also has these things so that's like usually like you think of the south as safe these guys are the opposite of that. They will mess you up, and they are going to take Iguanodon Kibble. So, shouldn't really be too insane to get that. Should actually be pretty nice Kibble to get, instead of being anything that you have to work really hard to tame, because Iguanodons are pretty easy. If not, though, they're going to take any kind of meat, so you can give them prime meat. Uh, muttons, those are going to be really good if you want to tame them super well. And uh, when it comes to taming, you're just going to knock them out the usual way. Tranks, all that jazz. But the good news is you can actually pick them up with an Argy. So if you do see a pack, you can kind of just abduct one of them, throw them in a house, and you'll be good to go. You know, throw them in like a trap house and then just rain down arrows on it from there. Feed them food, and you'll be good to go. Now, when you do manage to tame one of them, oh man, oh man. You are in for a treat. Now, as you can see here, his food does actually go up pretty slow. When he does eat the raw meat, they only heal him about 10 food, which is surprisingly, surprisingly, surpri I can't talk, surprisingly low. But the good news is, if it's like that when you are taming them, well, that means you're going to be able to feed them and funnel them a whole ton of meat. But anyways, now that he should have a little bit more, what I'm going to try to do here is apply the Kentrosaur level. Now, as you can see, he is dishing out all of those heals. You saw that for just a second there, but you can see Kentrosaurus' health is full, my health is full, his health is full, but he is using a lot of food when he does that. That's just what you have to be careful for. So, I'm going to try to up his health a little bit, see if that activates again, but it does, it does happen, the passive healing. Maybe it only activates every once in a while, something like that. You can toss the saddle on him, though. You can jump on him. And uh, as you can see here, he can jump. He's just like really tanky hog. And the higher level ones, they're going to really be having a lot of health. If you want to know how to get this, I think you need to be around level 60, if I recall correctly. So let's scroll on down. They might have actually changed it, though, because now they have the new system where every level you can unlock new stuff. But right around there, level 59, the Deodon saddle is available for you to have it. And why don't we go ahead and just pick a fight with this guy really quick. You can see his right click. There you go. If you right-click, that's how you activate his healing burst. You can actively activate it. But the problem is when that happens, 
you can see his food absolutely drains. So if you're doing this, you really, really need to make sure that you have plenty of food ready for the guy. But that is what is so special about him, is that when you're on him, if you have someone on the Deodon, you can control when the healing happens. And if you have like a pack of these guys, ooh, hoo, 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 that's going to be a lot of healing. You're going to be in for a treat. But other than that, I think that about covers it for these guys. I don't think there's much else for us to talk about other than... Well, I think we already did what they do. This guy, he doesn't have any super special fighting moves. You can just, you know, he just kind of butts. But the super the amazing thing, what's going to make this guy a key component of all of your armies moving together is that, baby. That right there. If you are fighting an army and you don't have this, that's a mistake. Because that other army is definitely going to have it. This is going to be a must tame. Even though you need level like 59 to ride it. It takes easy kibble, which is going to be nice. You can tame it pretty easily by just abducting it with an Argentavis. And it's going to heal everything. Everything. As long as you keep it fed, your army will be healed. They'll fight longer. And if they can fight longer, that means they'll be able to dish out more damage before they die. And they might even save them from dying. So this thing is going to be absolutely key. I'm, I'm What I want to hear from you guys is if you are going to be taming up one of these. I was going to say, like, I think I already know. If any of you guys plan on PvPing, every one of you is going to get one of these. Kentrosaurus, though, let me know about that. But yeah, let me know about both these guys. If you plan on getting it, when you plan on getting it, what you plan on doing with them. I'm always curious to hear that in the comment section down below. And along with that, we are going to continue covering this update. There's still plenty to go. So make sure you are subscribed. If you like the video, make sure that like button. Uh, if you have any comments from me, any ways you might want to see me do this better, do this different, definitely let me know. Always open to feedback. So at the end of the day, I want to make the best videos possible for you guys because that is what you people deserve what you deserve. But other than that, that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Dude, I have an epic beard now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.